Hey guys, welcome to a brand new unboxing video and I will be unboxing the Lutaku crate today. Um, I actually did one of these unboxings already on my Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash beef if you want to see it. Um, more as a treat to the Facebook people who have stuck, ar stuck around and stuck with me all these years and also to just test out my new unboxing setup. Ooh, the lighting and all this beautiful stuff. Anyway. Um, so this is the Lutaku crate. It's actually substantially more expensive than it and than most other crates out there most m monthly crates This I believe is $49.99 per month. So yes, it is a little more expensive, but you do get some cool stuff um, So there's a link in the description if you want to check out past boxes Usually you pay about $49.99 per, per crate, but the value inside is much much more than that. Let's get started Let's unbox this bad boy First up, this thing. Oh my gosh. I probably picked the best thing first. It is an NX. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a robot. It looks like a robot. Um, let's get this guy open. Let's get this out of the way. Pull this bad boy out. Oh my goodness. Okay, so, so um, here you have it. There's also a... A bunch of a bunch of forms in Japanese. I don't know what these. I guess there is there. Oh, thank you for purchasing this product. All right, this is not exactly Japanese. Uh, it's English. So let's put this box off to the side here and let's see what we got. We've got some accessories. We've got some accessories. Uh, these I'm sure will become more apparent once we remove this guy from the plastic. Okay. There's a lot of articulation going on. You can see why these boxes cost a little bit more. They, uh, you get some cool stuff. Got a sword right here. Now, if I was a fan of whatever this was, I'd probably be really pumped, but I don't know exactly what this is. Is this a sword? This has gotta be, oh, it's a hand. It's like a full on hand. Push this bad boy in right there and he holds it down like this. Is that, is that a thing that he, that this person does? This thing? Uh, what is it exactly? It's a Gurren type zero elements Satan. Satan? So, I don't know. Satan? So here he is with his accessories. Um, this is a little difficult for me. Now, does this thing move too? Man, there's a lot of... Oh, his head. Oh, look at the head movement. Oh, yeah. This thing also moves. These little spiky things. Like I said, if I was a fan of whatever the heck this is, um, I would probably be super pumped to have this thing. The stand is a little tricky uh there's hmm there's there's a couple of spots where you can mount the guy he's got this spot right here in a very convenient place you can just put him on right here which i have done before uh but it doesn't look very good now they, they've got these attachments it's all in japanese the instructions so i'm assuming this is japanese um so it's difficult for me to actually figure out how to how to work this thing but anyway he stands on his own i don't need no stand who needs stands look at oh I, I just said you stand on your own guy don't make me look like an idiot the, uh, I, I that was my fault there we go look at him it looks pretty cool in my opinion probably the best thing first in the box but let's pull out some other stuff because uh, there's some other really cool things in this box next we've got this robotech anniversary figure i assume uh here are some figures on the side here collect them all uh, are these the same ones? These are the same ones. Let's open this box up. And we have... Here he is. Found him. He's all wrapped up. This guy is more wrapped up than... Never mind. Um, oh, look at this. That is really cool. Look at that. Now, it says it's by Caliber Toys, and there's apparently six to collect. Here are the ones to collect, I assume. Those are the only ones to collect. Uh, but this is one of them. Very cool looking figure. He's got like that. Whoa, don't fall over, buddy. He's got like the um, the, uh, the plastic clear. He was just standing on his own. Now he's not standing on his own. He really wants to just make my life miserable. Anyway, I'll just hold him. Uh, he's got like the clear plastic thing on his eyeballs there. Again, not familiar. This is why I'm pulling these two out first because I'm not familiar with this. Robotech series or, or saga or whatever, uh, but this toy looks pretty dang cool. There he goes. There he goes. He's standing on his own. Yeah, he looks pretty dang awesome. No, crap! Now the next three are uh, things that I am very familiar with. Check this out. Starscream 
from the Transformers series of things, movies, um, TV shows, comic books, whatever you want to call it. Let's pull Starscream out. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Oh man, he's got the articulation. Does it do his knees bend? I don't think his knees bend. He's got... What the heck is this in the back? Does this light up? This might light up. It does light up. LED light up function. There it is right there. LED light up function. I just pulled this tab right here out from the back of his head. Um, see, is he lighting up? There it is. Look at that. That's so cool. Look at him. Okay, now this is what I'm talking about. Starscream. Ooh, lights off to show you Starscream's eyeballs. Looking good, Starscream, looking good. Looks like you can collect a few more figures too. Sorry, Starscream, I just dropped you, bro. You dropped again. Uh, anyway, there they are. Uh, we've got Prime, Bumblebee, uh, Brimlock, and Soundwave. I always liked Soundwave as a kid growing up, so those are awesome. And of course, sticking with the Transformers theme, we've got everyone's favorite truck, Optimus Prime. Everyone's favorite Transformer, maybe. He was definitely my favorite. Uh, Soundwave was a close second. I really like Soundwave. But I really like this, this guy right here, Optimus Prime. And judging from the box, you can actually transform him into a truck. Let's get him out of the box here. Put him out right there. There he is in his plastic coating. Not plastic stick. Slip oh, Jesus whole logo in the back there very cool box I think I might actually put this guy back in the box to display him so here he is looking all derpy and stuff um, there's instructions on the box to transform him right there I'm gonna try to follow those instructions closely as close as possible anyway so this thing so he goes up like this nailed it that is the most adorable little truck I have ever seen as far as adorable trucks go, that's pretty dang adorable. Now to get him apart, all you do, you get these apart like so. See that, his head flips up like so. You get this folded inwards, there we go. And then you gotta pull the legs down. And I think that's it. And that's it, he's done. He just looks so cool. Oh man, I love the Transformers stuff. Where's his fists at? There's his fists right there. So we should, should like move his fists forward. There we go. He's looking, he's looking awesome. This guy, I don't think he's going back in the box. I think he's, I think he's staying on my desk. Not this one, my computer desk. And last, but definitely not least, we've got Voltron, a defender of the universe. The pop figure of Voltron, defender of the universe. Um, this is like the cartoon. I, we, I did watch this as a kid, not as often as I watched Transformers or G.I. Joe. Uh, but I watched Voltron and it's like this, this thing is comprised of like five, is it five different lions? Like different colored lions? Um, and it was definitely fun to watch. Look at him. Just look at him. He's beautiful. Another pop figure. I have a very uh, extensive, uh, extensive, excuse me, collection of pop figures. So this adds to it. I'm very happy about it. Very colorful pop to have. Um, let me see the box and see if there are any more. I don't think there are any more. I think this is the only one, the only Voltron figure. I might be wrong about that, but that that is awesome. Very happy to have this in my collection now. Thank you so much, Lutaku. So there you have it guys, that is this month's Lutaku. Again, it's a little more expensive than the average uh, monthly geek box, I like to call them, uh, and many people probably call them. But look at what you get, all figurines, no fluff. Um, but yeah, if you really like this box and you wanna buy it for yourself, check out the links in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I'll be making more of these. Thanks so much, bye bye.